Good afternoon from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. My name is Ryan and I have Micah with me as the girls are out shopping, but we're gonna bring you for a walk down through Gatlinburg. We're gonna check out the spring break crowds and check out some St. Patrick's Day decorations, including where a small little hidden Celtic pub is on the strip here. We're also gonna head over to Fanny Farkles and try out a green ogle dog and then we're gonna head over and try a different special treat you guys are looking at it right now he has no idea what the special treat is are you excited to go try a special treat yes so without further ado let today's adventure begin We begin today's adventure in Pigeon Forge as we head down. The traffic is not too bad. The view is fantastic. A little bit of sprinkling of snow up in the mountains. It's always wonderful to see the beauty of God's creation as we head to our destination in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We did make it into Gatlinburg. Most parking lots are either full or near full. You can see lots of Irish flags up and down and you have this bear in the pot of gold right here in Gatlinburg. But we're going to walk down the street and see what else we can find. So you can see the city parking garage currently shows one space available here at the moment. And this little parking lot next to it at $20 is showing full. I can see the parking lot sign across the street for the garage right behind the aquarium. And that one says full at the moment. So we come up to Anakista. So our plan was to actually go up top to Anakista to see some of the live entertainment they have for their shamrock celebration going on right now. We were a little slow to get out here and it was hard to get a parking spot. So we actually have to get back to meet the girls and uh, we're not gonna have time to go up today, but we will be going up to Anakista soon. Anakista does have a number of live entertainment performers as well as some green beer up top that you could enjoy if you wanted to. This is a place we definitely recommend get tickets in advance as the line can get pretty long. As you can see the spring break crowds wanting to get up to the top i'd love to bring you up there we'll have to come back on another day just only have so much time today we have to be somewhere at a particular time and it is a beautiful day here in gatlinburg i can smell all sorts of food in all different directions and again i hope this video just gives you feel of the crowd levels here during spring break. We're going to stop in here at the village and there is a little pub in the back. We'll go check out what they have on the menu. Oh, they've got some Easter eggs already hidden. I think they need a little bit of hiding spots and some Easter decorations back here at the village. We're gonna go over to the right here. You've got this little Celtic pub. Let's check out their menu. We've got some hand cut fillets, fish and chips, 100% Angus beef patties, bangers and mash, fresh breaded chicken. It says, come in, relax, and enjoy a pint with friends and family. Upstairs dining area, kid and pet friendly. Let's take a quick look in here. Looks like they've got some cups, some shirts, Lots of St. Patrick's Day decorations. And you walk up and order, and then you can head upstairs. Let's go look upstairs. So here's a look at the top floor that you can come up here and sit with your kids or your dog. As they say, it is pet friendly up here. So there is a look at Bodica's Celtic Pub. If you're looking for a place to come get a pint, 
are some bangers and mash on St. Patrick's Day. You can come back here to this little hidden gym at the village. So the sun has come out today. It is a nice relaxing day to come out and enjoy the village or grab a donut at the donut fryer. But we have plans for other great little snacks and desserts up ahead. So you know we're getting an ogle dog, right? Yes. Do you know what dessert we're gonna go get? No. Any guesses? No. Everybody right now watching knows what you're about to have because they clicked on a picture of you holding it. Any guesses? No. All right, well, we're excited to go try a fun dessert. I know what it is. He still doesn't know yet. He will very soon. Are you excited? Yes. All right, let's go get an ogle dog first, a green ogle dog. Construction going on here for Miranda Lampert's restaurant. It'll be nice when all the scaffolding is gone. So Fanny Farkles is our next destination as they have their classic ogle dogs, but they're green. So you can see the green batter that they're using to dip the corn dogs. Thank you. We got our green ogle dog. Let's check this thing out. It's got a little bit of a green tint to it there. Ooh, it's steaming. Is it hot? Is it like really hot? You can see the inside is nice and green. How it's is it? Good. It's good. It tastes good? like a corn dog. Let's, uh, let's wrap this up. We can finish it later and let's go get a dessert. Now that we've gotten our green ogle dog, we're gonna walk down the road a little bit more to our next destination that Micah still doesn't know what that place is. But uh, give you a little look at the crowd levels. As we've been walking around, I realize Gatlinburg has a lot of green between parking signs, the Gatlinburg Inn, and just things are naturally colored green around here, it seems like. Like Anakista, the Skylift Park also has St. Patrick's Day festivities at the top as at nighttime, there's lots of green lights you can see as you cross the Sky Bridge. All right, bud, we're almost there. We're gonna go right there to the Crazy Mason Milkshake Bar and split a Crazy Mason Milkshake. You wanna do that? Yes. Sound like a plan? Yes. All right, let's go do it. Let's head into the Crazy Mason Milkshake Bar and check out their St. Patrick's Day creation. They have a number of crazy creations in here. Most are $14.75. Yeah, there it is. That's the one we're going to try to get. Just a heads up on allergens that may be present, dairy, gluten, and nuts. You can see some of the mason jar options here. We're going to get this crazy lucky one. Here's their standard Gatlinburg location. And I really like this one with the bears and the blue mountains. And you got the Gatlinburg, Tennessee on the other side. So not only do you get a crazy dessert, but you get to take this home. You could use it to put pens in or whatever you want to use it for. One thing I like about this place is they do offer a 15% discount to military and first responders. You got your rent station here. To take home your mason jar, you can see them working on a couple crazy creations. Here's a couple other different ones here. You can see they're working on our Here for the Shenanigans is the name of our Crazy Mason as they added this pot of gold and now adding a rainbow. It's a little over the top, but it's going to be fun to try. All right, Micah, ours is ready. You want to grab it? This is exciting. That is one happy boy. Let's go outside and check it out a little closer. Yeah, it's got a little pot of gold and some bluebell ice cream. Where do you start with this thing? What are you gonna go for? Just going for the ice cream, trying to get down to it? Oh, you just got all whipped cream, huh? Yes. The ice cream's good. It's good? It's not mint. I don't know what it is. Our pot of gold is leaking chocolate. We're gonna go with the straw technique here. It's good. It's good? We might have to walk with it. We gotta get heading back to mom and the girls. This thing is so massive, we're gonna transfer some of the top over to the plate that they give you. Oh. There you go. Get the rainbow you need. <laughs> you need some napkins for this thing. It's huge. You wanna try a bite? Sure. Rainbow candy. So we are gonna enjoy this for a few minutes and then start heading to our car. I think the sour part kicked in on Mike. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a sour rainbow. Super sour. You want some water? Sure. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna wrap up today's adventure, walking through Gatlinburg, checking out the St. Patrick's Day decorations, festivities, and spring break crowds. This St. Patrick's Day, we'll be having some Reuben sandwiches and going over the story of St. Patrick, the real life missionary. But we'd love to hear from you in the comments. What are some of your St. Patrick's Day traditions? Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.